I began painting 10 years ago after taking a play with paint class offered by Max Grover. My husband and I had just arrived in Port Townsend after a long summer adventure exploring the United States. One of our destinations was East Dorset, Vermont, where my grandfather grew up. I had always wanted to see his childhood home that I'd heard so much about. It's on Reed Farm Lane, my family namesake. We found the house, which is now home to the folk artist Richard Chalmers. His art was on display in the yard with an honor jar you could contribute to if you wanted to take one of his paintings, which were colorful, clever, and rendered on all types of material. There was nothing pretentious about them. I loved them. After our visit, we were back on the road, and I pulled out a piece of paper and started to draw some sketches that I thought might make a good folk art style painting. The ideas kept coming, and before I knew it, I was desperate to get settled in somewhere so I could try my hand at painting. I first encountered the works of Max Grover in a real estate office in Port Townsend when we were looking for a rental after our big adventure. In the lobby was a big, bright, stylized waterfront painting of Port Townsend, exactly what I was hoping to learn to paint. I asked the staff about the painting and learned the artist lived in Port Townsend and that he sometimes offered painting instruction. I couldn't believe my luck. I eagerly checked out Max Grover's website and determined that he was a genius. I had yet to meet the man, but I had him completely idolized by the time I did. I met Max about six months later while working as a bank teller. He came through my line. I was a little starstruck, but managed to blurt out that I really liked his paintings and that I hoped to take one of his painting classes sometime. Max said, well, if you want to be a painter, you have to paint. I took those words to heart and set up a spot to paint in our new house. With all my ideas and sketches, I figured it'd be a piece of cake. I discovered that painting was certainly a skill I'd have to practice at. It was slow going and pretty frustrating. I couldn't wait to take a class, and I only wanted to take one from Max Grover. A short while later, I was calling bank clients to tell them about a promotion at the bank. Wouldn't you know, Max Grover ended up on my list. When he answered, I said, Oh, hi, Max. It's Julie from the bank. And we chatted about his cats and a trip he was going to take. I told him again how much I loved his paintings, resisting the urge to beg for a class. I never told him about the promotion at the bank. A year later, Max opened a gallery and teaching space, and I began taking lessons. Max's style of teaching, which encourages painting from your imagination and learning from frustrations and surprises, validated what he said to me. If you want to be a painter, you have to paint. This I did, driven by the desire to see my ideas come to life. It was hard work and it required patience and a lot of thinking, but I was hooked. One of my first paintings was a giant portrait of a vampire raccoon. It felt so good to get that out into the world. Ten years later, I can't believe how many paintings I've done and how much I've learned about art, history, culture, and community. Learning to paint has changed my life. I began teaching painting classes about five years ago through the Port Townsend School of the Arts, tentatively at first. With no formal training, I wasn't sure that I'd be able to communicate the information that adult students might want. Much like painting, I dove in head first and discovered I had plenty to offer if I stuck with it and kept an open mind. Teaching painting has vastly improved my own paintings and practice. What a value it is to share with others. This collection of my paintings is bright, playful, and in the spirit of the two artists who inspired me to paint in the first place, Richard Chalmers and Max Grover. These are paintings that come from an honest and joyful desire to celebrate the things I find interesting, something I think Max does expertly. My hope is that anyone who views this collection of my work will see his influence. His celebration of the banal, his outright silliness and his clever compositions has given me permission to indulge my own impulses to do the same. To share gallery space with Max and to go on to teach my own painting classes in our shared community has been such an uplifting experience for me. I'm incredibly fortunate to live in Port Townsend and participate in the legacy of inspiring artists who live and work here.